All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing another Walking Dead video leading up to the ninth season for the Walking Dead television series. In this one, we're gonna be giving our thoughts on another Instagram post, this time from Walking Dead director, Michael Satrazemis. And I hope I said his name properly, but I may not have. That said, a uh, link will be in the description if you guys haven't seen this one yet. It is from a couple days ago, um, but you know, just uh, making so many videos this week, uh, just getting around to this one now with all the other discussion topics and things that we've done. I mean, I'll have some in the end screen video uh, for you guys here, but we've done a discussion about whether or not Carl caused Andrew Lincoln, killing Carl caused Andrew Lincoln to want to leave. Um, Norman Reedus, uh, some of the posts, uh, one of the posts that he made on his Instagram. Um, whether or not this is the end of the Walking Dead series, the television series, and just all kinds of stuff as well. Of course, there's, you know, <laughs> oh yeah, Fear's on too, right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, Fear's, uh, fear's still running uh, in case, uh, you know, we all kind of just forgot about it with the huge news about uh, Rick leaving the Walking Dead. Um, so for this one, this is an interesting one. I'll put the link in the description to comicbook.com. Uh, and this one is a bit similar to the Instagram post that uh, Norman Reedus had made where he posts a picture of Daryl hugging Rick, uh, which I did a video on on uh, like Thursday night, I think. Um, this one is, is quite similar to that. It was posted on uh, Friday, uh, which is uh, was, was June 1st. And basically it was somewhat similar to that with um, you know a picture of, um, I think it was around the Knots Untie time, the time when we first uh, met the, uh, the hilltop in The Walking Dead. So that was, you know, geez, uh, uh, several years ago now. Uh, where uh, you had um, the attempt that was made on Gregory and you had Rick stopping it. If you guys remember that, you had the, kind of the blood everywhere. I think it was in the second half of season uh, six. Yeah, second half of season six or so. Um, so when they were doing the larger world and all that kind of stuff and introducing the uh, the hilltop and some of the other communities around. So uh, he posts a picture of that. So him uh, kind of uh, with his arm around Andy. And it has been removed. So uh, let's get into that as well too. So link will be in the description. Check it out. And then he later removed that picture. So this is, this is important, I think. And this is probably the best... Um, you know, information we've had so far about this whole thing. Yes, Norman Reed is posting a picture of Daryl and Rick is, is indicative that, you know, we are seeing Rick leaving. We've had other people kind of uh, bring up certain things other, uh, you know, cast members have kind of said in social media. But this one's a big one because, okay, so it says, Satrazemis Satri took to Instagram with a photo of himself and Lincoln on set from a, I think they, here they say, um, Season 5 episode, uh, which uh, he uh, directed. I don't think it is, though. Uh, in it, uh, Lincoln is covered in blood and ready to shoot the unforgettable scene in which he calls Daryl Dixon a brother in the post. I, I think that's also might be wrong. <laughs> but anyway, okay. It's cool. I, I'm not here to try to beat up on Combo Technon. They do a great job. Uh, in the post, Hatcher Samus points out how much he, the show, and the fans will miss Lincoln, but collectively have a lot to look forward to. Uh, and then it was uh, it was removed. So you can you can click the uh, the post uh, there on comicbook.com, and that picture that it's linked to has been taken down. Um, the text reads, uh, "Quote: uh, Many of us have spent the last eight years of our lives uh, working, creating, uh, high fiving, hugging, and sometimes even bleeding real blood with Andy." Satrazemus wrote in the post, uh, "All to make something special. He's one of the greatest men I've ever met and a friend. Uh, the show will miss him as much as you. Uh, it will be different, but it will still." be great. Uh, all of us who uh, love making The Walking Dead uh, keep creating our asses off and sometimes even bleed for you. Um, then it mentions here that Satcher Zemus is also a producer on Fear the Walking Dead, where Andrew Lincoln won't be going despite some hopeless fan speculation. <laughs> so, uh, you know, as far as we know, yeah, he's not going to be, you know, anything like that. There's still, of course, the possibility that he could somehow have a happy ending, but I don't know how they would work that out. I don't know how that would go. So, so that's what it says as far as, you know, what the post was that he had made. Now, the question of the picture being removed or it being removed afterwards, to me, is really, if I have this right, um, is really indicative that it's something that he posts and afterwards he decided like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have posted that and then takes it down, right? So um, now if, if this was, if the whole thing was just kind of bu buying into fan speculation and just kind of having fun with fans and the whole thing ended up being not true, I don't think he would ever take it down 
right? Does that make sense to you guys? Like, leave a comment below. If he posted something like that and it wasn't true, so it was just them messing with fans and the whole thing was was not true, um, he would probably leave it there despite whatever because if he was ever questioned about it, um, you know, he would just say, well, I was just messing with fans, whatever, and I just decided to post it. And since he's not leaving anyway, then it's just kind of a fun thing to do to mess with the fans, right? Um, but the fact that he took it down to me is actually more indicative that it's true than false because uh, what that tells me is that he posted something here and then he realized that we've, we've all probably done this at one point or another. I mean, I've been posting online for many, many years, right? <laughs> so sometimes you post something and then afterwards you realize like, uh, you know, okay, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have posted that. And for him, of course, working with AMC and being involved in creating uh, the series and helping make The Walking Dead, you know, as great as it's become, um, he probably afterwards realize like and I don't want to put words in people's mouths because I'm not him but um, you know you post it and then afterwards you're like oh shit I shouldn't have posted that because you know uh, they might not like that you know the bosses or the company that I work with company I work for um, you know on this show on creating this show might not like that so then he takes it down just to be safe you know and probably I'm guessing probably nobody asked him to but he did it just because he didn't want to you know <laughs> offend anybody or didn't want to um, you know, get in trouble uh, for posting something or kind of confirming something that isn't really supposed to be known or isn't really supposed to be common knowledge. So out of all the different pieces of information we've had so far regarding the Andrew Lincoln leaving The Walking Dead, Rick Grimes leaving The Walking Dead in Season 9, I think this one right here is probably the most compelling. So uh, just let me know what you guys uh, think about that. Uh, leave, a, uh, leave a comment below on how you're feeling about that. But of course, he is a, a big-time director and a producer uh, on the series, and even like with Fear of the Walking Dead now, helping out with that as well, too. And, um, you know, he's directed some awesome episodes, uh, like Start to Finish, uh, that was a great episode. He's just done a lot of really, really good episodes uh, throughout the Walking Dead series. He's one of actually one of my favorite directors on the show. I really like his episodes. I think they use music incredibly well, and it's just uh, really good stuff. So um, crazy stuff, man. And as time is kind of going on, I feel like there's just more and more supporting pieces here that are kind of coming together to really make it sound like that information was true, that Andrew Lincoln really is leaving the Walking Dead. So I hate to say it, but, you know, sorry, guys. But certainly anybody who uh, still thinks, uh, and you know, I mean, I'm not going to say that you can't think that if you still think it's all uh, nonsense. I mean, there's a, there's a, I guess a slight chance that, that that could still be true. But as all these things are coming out and time goes on, it really looks like um, it, it is legitimate. It's also kind of crazy that it was kind of uh, out now, like it somehow uh, was able, it was somehow found its way out in news outlets already, rather than them being able to kind of bottle that one up. You know, if you think about the season seven premiere, they did a pretty good uh, job of kind of of uh, bottling up the uh, the double death there until it got pretty close to release date for the season and then everybody kind of knew about the uh, the deaths or whatever or or it kind of got spoiled at that point but it wasn't like right now it wasn't like in june or late may that we had some indication of who was actually going to be killed off by negan in season seven premiere it took a while until finally that was kind of they locked it up pretty good it's it's surprising to me that with this one with Andrew Lincoln leaving and Rick leaving, uh, it already has kind of just become so widespread, even though they're still working on like the first half of the season. They're not even done the first half of the season yet. Uh, and already we're seeing all this information. So it's pretty uh, pretty crazy to hear all this. It's basically everywhere now. You know, they, they, it's too late now to box it up now. You would have had to got it right away. Uh, otherwise, um, everybody knows about it now. You can't really deny it now. Eric uh, Albanese says AMC uh, really needs to address this. It's too big of a deal to not say anything. Maybe Lincoln didn't like what Angela Kang uh, was doing. Uh, it does seem like this came out of complete nowhere. And that's true, Eric. I mean, this does really sound like it came out of absolutely nowhere. And it's it's crazy to see, man, you know, with the season. I mean, up until this news, we were going into season nine, and I was just like thinking to myself, you know, uh, I hope it turns out to be a good season. I hope they do the whispers well, and they're really brutal, and they're really scary and everything. And it'll be cool to see a new showrunner's take in the series. Um, never did I think that we would be seeing, you know, the death of uh, of Rick in the series or Andrew Lincoln leaving. But it is something that has been kind of brought up over the years. 
And uh, after the Carl thing, you know, personally, I think, and I've done a couple of videos on this already, just my opinion, and I could be totally wrong, but I really think the Carl thing is playing a role here. I really do. And I'm not just saying that. Even though I know that he maybe had been kind of discussing uh, the character's endpoint, uh, which you can see in comicbook.com as well, too. They kind of reference that there, something that he said before, that his character deserves an endpoint. And uh, so, yeah, there, there is that, um, too. So maybe it was kind of something he would have wanted to do anyway. But, um, you know, I just really feel like they just filmed all this stuff with Carl dying at the end of season eight there in the back half and, and all that stuff. And then literally the very next season they go to do and uh, he's decided to want to leave. But who knows? Maybe there's some other kind of role he's been offered or something that, uh, you know, and his contract was up. So maybe his contract negotiations, maybe they want it. Like, who knows? Right, guys? Maybe and leave a comment what you think. But maybe AMC offered him a seven or eight year deal. And he just couldn't, he couldn't sign it. He was probably like sitting there thinking to himself like, can I do this another seven or eight years? No, I can't, you know, I can't do it for another seven or eight years. So you got the pen, you know, you're, you're sitting there thinking like, can I, can I do this? Can I sign this? And he's probably thinking to himself like, I don't have seven or eight years in me. I can't sign this, you know. And then maybe he worked out with them like, actually, guys, you know, can you can we work something out where we do like uh, this season or something? I don't know. You know, unfortunately, this all has to be speculation from our part. But eventually, if it is ever known kind of how this whole thing went down, then, of course, I'll cover it with you guys and we'll do videos on it. But I do know that his contract was supposed to be uh, up around this time and he was supposed to be negotiating for the uh, the series' uh, further contract. And... Um, you know, it really seems like right after that, we're having some of our uh, top people leave The Walking Dead once those initial contracts started to run up here, which is this year. So uh, crazy stuff. But uh, yeah, I would love to see AMC address this and let everybody know. It's like everyone already knows at this point now, San Diego Comic-Con is going to be so strange, right, <laughs> this year. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he's not even there. Just Flo says, Trav, Andrew Lincoln as new James Bond. Uh, wouldn't that be awesome? So again, you know, there's lots of, I mean, aside from Walking Dead, there's lots of series and lots of movies and things like that that I'm sure would love to have him, you know, uh, like as like even just as this is just a fan idea, right, as Just Flo was saying here. But could you guys picture that? Like what if he was to play like a, like James Bond or something? Do you think they would give the role to him? I think he'd be great at that. Now, of course, I'm biased because I'm a Walking Dead fan, right? But um, I think everybody's a pretty much a fan of Walking Dead at some point, right, over the last decade. So, um, yeah, a, a huge uh, role like that or deal like that is something he could probably do or maybe leading another uh, huge series like Lord of the Rings or something who knows man but um yeah that would be uh, that would be really cool to see Kevin Mead says uh Trev uh, thinking about how to make the Walking Dead work without Rick in it if they do bring in the whispers uh it would be cool if the group led by Daryl goes into hiding in the forest um if they give it a much darker edgier feel almost like the group is on the run this could be a really good uh, this could be really good and give a whole new feel to the show you're right though Daryl will need to change in order to make it work and cheers and yeah that's still heavily debated right now of whether or not this is going to work uh a lot of people overwhelmingly right now uh are leaning towards this probably won't work without Rick and that you kind of have to wrap the series up um, you know I'm hoping to see at least this season of course I'm sure they'll finish season 9 and then hopefully we'll get a 10th season of the series but that is probably a topic in and of itself and whether or not we will um, you know we'll just uh, we'll see how things go here and if Fear the Walking Dead is still continuing maybe the Walking Dead can still continue in some uh, uh, manner after uh, season 9 here without him uh, but what it's going to look like is going to be really crazy. Alan M says this is crazy regardless Trev you got to keep going with YouTube still plenty of fans uh, and how Game of Thrones is going to be biblical uh, with the ending of Game of Thrones next year and yeah you know for Alan too um yeah, you know, this is more like a trend thing, right? You know, this is like a what we're discussing here and kind of what I've been saying in my videos recently that's going to be challenging for me in the next few years. It really will be because it's I view it as like a trend. You know, if he leaves, um, you know, right now, the most probable outcome is you're going to have a trend of The Walking Dead decreasing even even further to the point where I'll still be making reviews on it with you guys and talking about it with you guys and the audience will be gone basically so people won't really want to discuss anymore if enough people get turned off by this huge death so that's really what I'm looking at here and uh, you know yeah of course I'll be covering Game of Thrones uh, is final season this year but it's like oh man everything's ending at once right so uh, but again you know The Walking Dead isn't ending ending it's just that I'm seeing the, the fan base respond with such outrage and being just so like you know wanting the series to be over if you're going to kill Rick that um you know, it's going to be really difficult to see, you know, season 10, okay, season 11, it's like, eh, you know, that's kind of, 
<laughs> that's kind of tricky to say. So, uh, you know, I'm happy already with uh, with the amount of years I've been able to do this with you guys, and I hope we can continue to do this for years more uh, to come. Um, you guys can support the channel through uh, Patreon, and of course by subscribing and liking and watching all the videos and that. Uh, I'll put the link to Patreon in the uh, description below if you guys want to. But yeah, thank you guys for all your support for the channel, and I'll keep trying. You know, I can I can promise you that I'll try to keep going after this whole thing is, <laughs> is done. And how that's going to go, we'll see, but I'll keep trying. Spring Hernandez uh, says, uh, I think they should have ended it when they got to Alexandria. It's too out there now. Well, it depends, and we'll wrap up with that one. It depends on what kind of series you want this to be. You know, it depends on how you want to see The Walking Dead go and what kind of Walking Dead you really want. Um, if you want that Walking Dead, which is just the survival horror, uh, where the group finds Alexandria, it's their safe haven, and they win, basically. They win the zombie apocalypse, they survive peacefully for the rest of their lives, and everything is great, then um, that's the ending you probably would have uh, would have wanted. And that's another topic for another video, probably, too, is uh, when should The Walking Dead have ended? That would have been a great point, but if they did it that way, we wouldn't have gotten to see All Out War. We would have never had a war, which, personally, I still love, even though I know it, uh, people didn't like it that as much as I did, but I still loved uh, season eight with All Out War. Um, and the second half of season seven, we wouldn't have gotten all the awesome stuff with Negan. The height of the series for me really was probably like, in terms of my interest in the show and the most hyped episode ever, the season seven premiere to find out who Negan killed was the most hyped episode ever for me as a fan. You know, I love that episode. It was just insane, the amount of um, just you know, build up to that and how excited people were to kind of find out what was going to happen. That was something that we had never really seen before. Season five was the only thing that could really rival it. And in hindsight now, I kind of feel like the season seven premiere was even bigger than the season five premiere, uh, just in terms of fan popularity and, and how uh, popular The Walking Dead was at that, uh, at that time and how excited everyone was to see it. So, um, yeah, you know, there's some different points that they, when they could have ended it on. And again, we could focus on a whole video just on that, on what different points would make sense. But I'm glad it is still going because if they would have ended it at Alexandria at the end of season five, let's say, or maybe done six or something uh, with the herd and then wrap it up after that. So no Negan, no saviors. Um, you know, I mean, that would have been cool, but really... I, I'm glad that we got to see All Out War. I'm glad we got to see Negan and all of his antics and all of his uh, funny uh, uh, jokes and everything. <laughs> and everything with Rick fighting Negan there in, in last season, the second half. That was epic, I felt like. Uh, not the final kind of episode, but the prior battle with the uh, flaming Lucille and everything. Lightsaber Lucille, right? Uh, that was fun. So uh, there was some really good stuff, even though uh, a lot of people did feel like the series was better earlier on. I'm glad it continued past that point of them finding Alexandria. Anyway, uh, leave those comments below. Let me know what you guys think about everything. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can also share and favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at the bottom left. That's it for this one. See you guys again soon for another video. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.